Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome back to our chat with the incredibly inspiring Melissa Moats. Let's go there. So you are really savvy with marketing and networking. Do you have yeah. any little, just maybe a little quick tip list for people about getting started or how to refine making it more effective? Because I think you, know, you see people out there that are sort of flailing in one direction or they're kind of putting their energy in yeah. ways that maybe yeah. is not as productive. Yeah. Um, well, first and foremost, I would say realize that we want to be the solution to someone's problem, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. if someone's looking for a uh, voiceover actor for a project or whatever, present yourself as, as a solution to someone's problem, okay? Right. Um, that's something that I think is huge. Mm -hmm. And um, going back to what I mentioned earlier, keeping everything really uh, brief, in your email, if you do cold emails, include in your email uh, what makes you the solution, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? What you specialize in, what you know, that kind of thing. Um, maybe talk about some clients that you recently worked with, that kind of stuff. Um, don't make your letters, your cold, you know, template letters, if you would, cold, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Just your letters when you're reaching out, doing some cold emails. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, too long or too me, 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 I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Make it more about them and how you can provide a solution for them. Right. I yeah. know I've right. said that a couple times, but yeah. that's, and, that's and something not important. And like template-y, right? Right, like it looks right. Like it's kind of sculpt or... it. Do a little research yeah, about know who the, you're talking yeah, to. Yeah, know who you're talking mm -hmm. to, and then when you reach out to them, kind of sculpt your, your letter to them based on what they specialize in. And, you know how you can provide a great service for mm -hmm. them and you know say things like you know you're easy to work with you're easy to to get a hold of that's something that I hear all the time that producers say is yeah you know there's some talented people out there but just to get them to return an email or right. a phone call right. is that's crazy. insane right. and I think oh my gosh look at all right. that lost opportunity I mean I'm so right. amazed at how many times when I'll get something that says like wow, that was so fast, or thank you for being so quick and so prompt. I mean, because it makes right. a difference because, I mean, every every second costs someone money. Definitely, definitely. Time is money, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but um, I'm trying to think of some of my really good tips. I guess I take a lot of my things that I do every day for granted because yeah. I do them right. every day, right. and um, I'm trying to, Troy, can Well, you lucky for any? you, you have Troy over yeah, there. Yeah, Troy, well, I your do secret have, weapon. I have a secret weapon, you for do. sure. He's holding up cards. You could yell it out, Troy. <laughs> Oh, that's that's a really good secret. They're a Duh. great team. Troy we are a great, are a great team. team. Thank you for that. I love it. No, Troy just said, and he's so right. <laughs> Consistency. So oh, yeah. getting a day where you're like, ooh, I'm going to do marketing. Ooh, la, la. And you do marketing for three hours, right? And then you never do it again. Right. That's not, not good. <laughs> Yeah. No. yeah. NG, no. not good. Yeah. 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 NG. Yeah. Totally. I like that. So it's about being consistent. So even if you do it, 30 minutes every day. Right. And some people that I know have marketing day. They spend an entire day doing all their marketing efforts. Some people like to do a couple of hours every day or half mm -hmm. an hour every day. Yeah. Figure out what works for you. But the, the key is is being consistent, doing right. it, and doing follow-ups too, mm -hmm. you know? But once somebody tells you no, just kind of, all right, cool. No, that's a no. So don't waste energy or time on that. Just okay, thank you, and move on. Again, yeah. right. it's all about that selection, and, mm -hmm. and just don't worry about the, you know, it's it's not rejection, it's just they don't have a need for you right now, it didn't and come together, move on. Right. Move right. on. Same thing with does. auditioning. Yeah. Another thing that we say all the time to people is submit and forget. Submit that audition and, you know, forget about it. Don't ever think about it ever again. Um, mm -hmm. Think about I it. I call that mojo, by the yes, way. Yes, you do? do? Yes. Absolutely. We call that the I mojo. Always tell, mojo is not acting like you need something or want something. You do, you forget about it, it comes to you. Absolutely. You, auditioning for it means you want it. Yes. Right. Let it go you do your and best, it will come to you. And you leave it there. Absolutely. Yeah. Would you like to hear about my mojo? Okay, Melissa, let's hear about your mojo. <laughs> Okay, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, going back to the whole positive thinking thing. Um, whenever I do an audition yeah. and I'm getting ready to hit send, I really take a, a second and I put some super positive thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any sense in, you know, sending an off an audition, feeling insecure about it or no. doubting myself about it, it or going, I'm never going to book that. Like, what are you putting out into the universe, you know? No, so, don't send it then. Yeah. <laughs> so my thing is, is I always, right before I hit send, I'm like, yes, you know, thank you. And I always say, I got this, you know? And it's, it's not like a, you know, cocky thing. It's just like a, 
boom, You're I got You're sending this. it, sealing it with a kiss, yeah, you know? Yeah, I'm sealing yeah. it with a kiss. I'm yeah. putting some positive energy on it, and I'm feeling good about my audition. I really mm -hmm. am. So um, it served me well. So I'm really thankful for that. Yeah. And I don't book all of them. Right. I mean, holy moly. But, um, you know, but I'm... I'm definitely the ones that I book. I'm I'm just super thankful for, yeah. and cool. I'm excited. And not to mention that when you forget about it, yes, and you get something, and you get a call back saying, uh, "By the way, you booked that spot." Yeah. You're like, oh. I, did I audition for that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like reuniting with an old it's, friend. It's like a bonus, <laughs> right? Yes. It's like yeah. okay. And they yeah. say what the project yeah. you know was or whatever, and I'm like, oh yeah, I loved that one. Yeah, you know, yeah, or that. Yeah. And it's always interesting too, because the ones that you know I book or whatever, I really did feel a connection with, and yeah. so that really seems to come through. Right. The yeah. biggest thing I hear a lot from people that book me on things is they say, we heard 100 reads or whatever number, you know, and they yeah. say, but we felt your read. Mm. And so that makes me feel really good. And that's kind of a, it's something I hear often from people that book me. Um, that's yeah. like a common uh, comment that I've gotten mm -hmm. from yep. people. And so I really take that to heart. And I really do try to take the time to connect with the copy that I read and really feel the reads. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. Well, now you audition quite a bit. And as yeah. we know, it is a numbers game. I mean, can you talk Definitely. about kind of when you, that moment when you really saw a shift in your auditioning to booking ratio. Yeah. What well, was happening? Six years ago is when you started really <laughs> yeah. auditioning a lot, right? Well, really so, hard. Yeah. Like really hard. Like how and many give us a give us well, a, a number. My crazy husband <laughs> who's, who's right there yeah. by the way. You guys can't see him but he he's doesn't awesome. look that he crazy. He didn't seem to think me doing 30 something auditions a day was anything to, you know, yeah. blink at. It's like everybody so, should be doing that. Yeah. So, you know, I was doing over 30 auditions every single day um, from different agents and, you know, different opportunities that Troy yeah. would find for me and, you know, previous, you know, relationships with clients mm -hmm. and production companies. But so many things were coming in every day and I was super motivated and really took the time to do as many auditions as I could in a day. And, mm -hmm. you know, you'll get out of voiceover, like I mentioned earlier, what you right. put into it. And if you're auditioning once, twice, three times a day, Day, or I thought you were going to say lady. Three times a lady. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Three, Three times a lady. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. that, was good. that was Singers, important. you know. We... It was important. That was so <laughs> Vegas, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm glad that we did that. It was yeah, great. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Let's go to the buffet. Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyway, back to you. Oh. So, 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 how, so, in one year, how many auditions did, were, were there on the on the calendar? How there? to go on uh, numbers, husband? Between six and seven thousand auditions. Six, six and, and seven thousand auditions in one year. It was a lot of auditions. Mm -hmm. How can you not be successful when you? Well, I'll no, tell you. I'll tell you though. Yeah. When you've seen that many pieces of copy, yeah. and you've taken the time to gel with that many pieces mm -hmm. of copy, yeah. your chops grow. I mean, you, right. get, you get stronger. Yeah. It's like your personal workout group. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But I mean, if you're not reading a ton of copy, you know, it's it takes longer to refine your mm -hmm. craft. And I mean, I'm still growing like crazy and trends change, reads change, um, things get popular and you have to pay attention. You know, you've got to really do your homework and stuff. But um, but no, the more copy you read, the stronger of a mm -hmm. talent you're going to become, no doubt. So uh, I highly recommend to people that are, you know, really wanting to do voiceover full time yeah. to take the time to get in, get in your booth, get focused, stop ranting on Facebook, you know, or whatever, yeah. you know, I'm kind of being funny when I say that because, right. um, but you know, just take the time to do the work. Yeah. And I've said that before, like on little tweets and stuff. Um, I've started tweeting like, like recently. I'm kind of excited. Um, Dave Carvassier <laughs> invited me to be a part of this, like this Wovo uh, mm -hmm. yep. storm of questions and answers. I learned how to tweet really fast that mm -hmm. day. Okay. Cause he, I didn't yeah. realize He's this a was a great teacher. He is, he is social media, you know, master. Yep, he knows absolutely. his stuff. But anyway, um, people were asking questions and then, you know, we, we were answering them and stuff. And I kept saying, do the work, do the work. And when I say do the work, I mean, get in your booth, 
and do the work, like do a ton of auditions, get get in front of a ton of mm-hmm. opportunity, and you'll figure out what you're really strong at in a hurry because you'll start to see what you're booking, and then right. yeah. it'll be very clear to you what your sweet spots are. Right. Exactly. You know? And you're really, you're, you know, some of the things you're known for is that very natural, that real Thank read. You. What, what is, is your, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. no, you go ahead. I was gonna say, what is your sweet spot? Um, I would say, well, the warm, caring mom is mm-hmm. something I book quite a bit. Um, the enthusiastic, smiley read. Yeah. Um, like Which is that selling. right there, yeah. <laughs> It's the Ashley Furniture Home Store President's Day Savings Event. I don't have to dig too deep for right. that. Right? No, that's so basically. I like how it goes all the way up to your head. Yeah. You're like, well, that's from Alyssa in the morning, just because the sun's out. It's like coffee. No, coffee. honestly, I um, you know, a lot of enthusiastic stuff, smiley things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I listen to some of the work. You know, when I see it on TV or whatever, and I go, that's just me being me, really. And um, genuine smile, genuine enthusiasm, that kind of yeah. stuff. But I, and, and the natural, uh, you know, conversational read, I've gotten better at, you know, over yeah. the years. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard to be. It's really hard to be oh, natural. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It, yeah. it really you is. Yeah. yeah. And to really know what that means. I remember when I uh, first started thinking that my read was so conversational <laughs> and people that were mentors of mine and stuff, they were like, not, not quite so yet. much. They're like, <laughs> It's still pretty Aww. chirpy. Yeah. It's pretty happy. I'm like, what? I'm conversational. That's, my, that's me being conversational. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So I had to really learn how to dial my read back. Mm-hmm. And um, and some people that are learning voiceover, they have to learn how to dial their read way up. And I think right. really being in tune with your true personality, your true essence, who yeah. you are, yeah. is really important in voiceover because... Um, if you're a really upbeat person, you don't need to add anything extra to it when the the specs are, you know, upbeat and energetic. Right, like for right. me, I just do me on that. I don't add any extra special yeah. stuff. <laughs> but when I have to do something natural and conversational, yeah. I definitely have to tell myself, to like, a little bit. you know, yeah. dial it back. Right. Definitely. Right. Okay, so 7,000 auditions a year. That's a lot of auditioning, right? Yeah. Um, but where does somebody who's, you know, starting out or getting to the point where like, hey, I want to audition a lot, but I don't have an agent yet, where can they go to actually be, have the opportunity to audition a lot? Sure. Well, I mean, there there are these things out there called pay-to-plays. Um, you know, there are a few different, can we yeah, mention? The, the, absolutely. You know, Voices.com, yeah. Voice123, Voice 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 there's whatever. many others. So, so several years ago, I found them to be a great place to, you know, to look for some opportunity yeah. to do a lot of auditions and stuff and to really refine my, my skills and stuff. I'm no longer on pay-to-plays, yeah. but I, you know, I was several years ago and I found them to be a great you know, resource. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so if you're starting out, I mean, that's certainly a place you can look, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you were to look at a pie chart, yeah. this is one little slice. Uh, I would call this pay to plays. That's yep. an opportunity right yeah. here. This is just one opportunity. Yeah. Um, you really want to look at all different ways to get voiceover work. And at the end of the day, what it's truly about is relationship building, genuine relationship building. And um, once you've done work with someone and you've done a really good job and you were really easy to work with and you followed through and did all of those great things, yeah. mm-hmm. they're going to want to work with you again. Of course. And so you really want to nurture those relationships right. and keep those people coming back and all of those production companies and, and you know, just different clients coming yeah. back to you. Yeah. So I nurture relationships in a huge way. But in addition to that, um, building, you know, organic relationships with production companies, picking up the phone, calling yeah. audio production companies, video production companies. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're into video games, doing some Google searches on who produces video games, reach out, call them, email them, you know. Yeah. Um, and then also there's the other area is having agents represent you across the country, you know. Yeah. I think a lot of people think about agents in L.A., New York, Chicago, right, right. but they don't necessarily think about agents in Kansas City or in, you know, San Francisco or Minneapolis or, you know, Billings, Montana. You know, there's so many different voiceover um, um, yeah. agencies mm-hmm. out there that are looking for great talent. So think about um, all of the different places to look for work, not just pay-to-play sites. Um, yeah. 
that that's one place. That's yeah, one place absolutely. you can go, right, and that's right. one yeah, place you true. can look for mm -hmm. opportunities. But when you start to let production companies know and end clients know and agencies know you exist mm -hmm. and what you're strong at and that you can turn an audition around uh, quickly for them and do a great job and you're reliable, um, you're going to find a lot of audition opportunities ending up in your inbox. Yeah. And uh, you won't even have time to look at a pay-to-play site, <laughs> right, <laughs> quite right, honestly, right, because right. you're going to have all of these nice direct relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so, so those are a few different ways to That's look at cool. you know opportunities, and um, you'd be surprised how Absolutely. many there are yeah. out there. That's good. I like I that. Love that. Melissa, you and your husband Troy started the Voice Actor Studio in yes. Vegas. Mm -hmm. Tell us what inspired you guys to do that, and what what can people know about it, and can we see it? Yeah. Oh yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I have something special for you. Um, well, let me let me see how I can start that or start to answer that. Um, First of all, you guys need to know that there is an amazing amount of talent in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. voiceover actors. There's so yeah. many. And, um, you know, I knew a lot of voice actors, and uh, I started a little workout group. Um, after I lived in, in L.A. for a couple of years, I was exposed to this cool thing, voice, you know, voiceover, uh, you know, workout groups and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I thought... A cool idea. People get together and help each other out, and wow, I love it. Right. So when I moved back to Vegas, and uh, that was in, about five years ago, um, I reached out to a few of my voiceover friends, and I just said, "Hey, you know, I'm thinking about putting together a voiceover workout group kind of a thing. You want to come?" And two people showed up the first time, and I was teaching out of not teaching, but you know, uh, facilitating this out of yeah. my uh, home studio. Two people showed up. And we thought it was really awesome, and we like read some copy, had some snacks. It was great, <laughs> <laughs> so it was really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you know, a couple more people came, a couple more people came, mm -hmm. and this workout group just started to kind of explode. Next thing I knew, I had like 30 people showing up, wow. and wow. I have a little ranch style house, have a living room that we turned into a home studio, right. and I was packing people in. I mean, we were having a great time, but yeah. it got to the point where this person knew another person that did voiceover or was dabbling in voiceover and needed more help and yeah. we were always like sure bring him over we'll, mm -hmm. we'll help him out we'll let him know what's going on so it really grew and it really started to get out of hand and then in addition to that people started um, reaching out to me and saying uh, I have a friend that wants to get started in voiceover you know could, could you give him a few tips or whatever so then I started I found myself on the phone a lot just kind of telling people over and over again a lot of the same stuff to get started yeah. well all of a sudden I started mentoring people and kind of coaching people. It was just a natural yeah. progression, mm -hmm. you know, just out of helping people out. So um, this thing just grew and grew, and Troy and I just said, you know, we maybe we ought to get this thing, you know, out of our house because now more people are coming to our house right. that we don't know, right? <laughs> like than the people that we do know, you know. <laughs> Troy's like, I can't walk Troy's around like, in my pajamas uh, anymore. No. I'd like to have my four hours room of the back. day. It was a lot, a lot of people were coming, in. I yeah. mean, it was great. I'm not, we're not complaining. It was right. really wonderful, but. <clears> um, you're putting, you're instilling a lot of trust to put, you know, have that many people in your home that you don't know. Right. Yes. So um, we we really decided, it was actually during my my surgery and my recovery and all that, we were pondering. We, we were saying, either we're not going to do this anymore, or we're really going to do this in a much bigger way. And it yeah. was, we were really on the fence. Mm -hmm. And Troy said, honey, whatever you want to do, you know I support you. We can either just completely stop doing this, and you can just fully focus on your voiceover, or we can grow this thing. And I really, the thought of not having the workout group and the thought of not helping people that really want to start in this business, mm -hmm. it physically made me feel ill to not do it. You know, I just, it hurt. It hurt my yeah. heart, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. to yeah. think, oh man, that I just love it so yeah. much. So we decided to start looking around for some commercial locations and stuff to, to get this party you started. You went all wow, you We guys. did. Right? So Big time, man. We made a decision. Boom. I'm going to work on the love boat. I'm going to marry this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what else did we say? I'm going to do voiceover. We're going to get a commercial You're getting location. renewed by Ashley. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. And then, um, you know, we, we found this 1,800 square foot location. 
in Henderson, Nevada. It's a suburb Love of Henderson. Las Vegas. Yeah. Great place. Yeah, and it's uh, it's like 10 minutes southeast of the Strip. Yeah. And um, found this beautiful place, and we decided that was the place for us. We really mm -hmm. loved it. So we started to dial it in for our needs. So I've got a little video to show you, and uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour Let's of the Voice go. Actors oh, Studio. Tour. Here we go. Follow the voice me. Actors All right, studio. check this out, you guys. Hi, Chuck and Stacy. Welcome to the Voice Actors Studio. We're standing outside of our building right now. We just got a really awesome new sign. We just wanted to show it off a little bit. Voice Actor Studio. I'd like to give you guys a little tour. Come on in. Welcome inside the Voice Actor Studio. This is our reception area. And uh, we got a little phone booth over here for the Super VO girl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, this is where we check everyone in when they come in. And uh, we direct everybody right over here to the workout room, also known as the green room. Follow me. First, I'll show you uh, where we engineer. We've got our engineer sitting in the back of the room, kind of running the board from back here. I sit up here, or whoever is coaching, we've got all kinds of coaches that come in. This is where our coaches hang out and uh, do their thing. We've got our little talk back mic. We've got a beautiful booth up here. For, it's a four by six booth. We can fit two to three people inside of it. And um, just wanted to point out that we've got furry walls. Every studio <laughs> needs some furry walls. We've got 1,800 square feet of pure voiceover awesomeness here. This room's under construction right now, also known as the fish tank room. <laughs> Gotta have a fish tank. <laughs> this is our little kitchen break room. Gotta hydrate the, uh, the VO peeps. You guys aren't the only ones with a purple bathroom. <laughs> Our self-serve recording room. Oh wow, look, VO Buzz Weekly. How did that show up? Um, people can rent time in our booth back here. Um, they can use it for ISDN, IPDTL, anything they need. This is our smaller booth. We have workshops back here as well. And um, we can use it for uh, recording ISDN, IPDTL, Source Connect Now. Anything anybody needs, this is our, our full ser service recording room back here. And this is our other little editing station for people to be able to do their thing. But thank you guys so much for, for dropping by and uh, I can't wait for you to come in person. So come see us real soon. Wow, that was really cool. Thank you wow, for making beautiful. that for us. And for them, how cool. You guys so, are awesome. Absolutely. Thank what goes you. on at the workout studio? Yeah, okay. So at the voice actor studio, we voice have. Voice actor studio. That's okay. Sorry. It's all good. It's no problem. What we do is, we're new, so people are going to say <laughs> stuff like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. We do our work, we have a professional workout group. So our peers get together, people that are working professionally in voiceover. Mm -hmm. We get together like once or twice a month and just kind of keep each other in the loop. Technology, marketing, um, we definitely read copy and give each other helpful feedback, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but the other thing that we do is um, we mentor people and coach people that are just starting out and give them a lot of great info. We've got a lot of different coaches. Some people are experts at audiobooks, some people are really great at character work. Um, I coach a lot of people on narration, um, commercial voiceover, promo, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, we also have, this is very exciting, we have coaches and voiceover experts from across the country mm -hmm. come to our studio to teach workshops. Wow. We've got awesome. Maurice Tobias coming right to, to teach awesome. some amazing, she's going to do a women's summit um, just kind of a, a workshop on, you know, promo, commercial, yeah. keeping us all up with the trends, things like that. Yep. That's awesome. Um, we've got Joyce Castellanos has yep. been coming and mm -hmm. she's teaching stuff. We've just got a lot of different people. Yeah. Um, uh, George Whittem, I don't know if you guys know George Whittem. Of course Whittem. we know George. Yes. He's like, George. Yeah, he's right there. George. <laughs> George. Hey, George. <laughs> we love George. George is awesome. He's been doing yeah. some stuff. He uh, did his eWebs thing from our, uh, our right. studio, Stream right. Live. So we've got a lot of really neat voiceover actors experts that are coming to uh, utilize our facility mm -hmm. in Henderson because we live, you know, Las Vegas is the tour, you know, tourist capital of the world Heck basically. Yeah. Right. So a lot of voice talent are coming there and different people to teach mm -hmm. workshops and so forth. By the way, we have a back room um, where talent can, you know, 
basically rent time if they need to come in and do auditions, that's jobs. Cool. That's fantastic. We have ISDN, IPDTL, Source Connect Now. We've got everything they need so they can affordably come in and use our space. Mm. So that's it's cool. really a community yeah. voiceover studio. Mm -hmm. It's for everybody. It's for yeah. the working professional. It's for you know people that are just starting out, a safe place for them to come and learn, yep. get on mic, get in the booth, get feedback from a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so it's, it's truly just an all-encompassing uh, voiceover community studio. That's beautiful. Do you have so something you want me to? Oh, okay. I'll, okay. Yeah. My husband's like showing me little cute cards. <laughs> He's got cute oh, cards. Yeah. He's Say got this, honey. Because <laughs> <laughs> I forget sometimes. Well, yeah. so there's yeah. people watching all over the world that aren't in the Henderson vicinity. So how can people keep in touch with you or yeah. get involved? Because I know you guys are working on making it a little more Definitely. Um, virtual. Yeah, we are working on making things more virtual and that's going to be something that will be uh, kicking off in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. But if anyone wants to visit our website, it's the voice actor studio.com right not a there. double s yeah okay it's right there yeah. on the it's screen pain, it's a All pain you gotta in do the is ass read that and you're yeah. fine <laughs> <laughs> the two s's is a pain in the ass yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. i say so <laughs> yeah. the voice actor studio.com love it but, um, but if you want to stop by um you can see all the different things that we have going on yeah and, and what's um, the little the cue card the kid thing what oh, was that all about yeah no it was just a really cool thing that we did <laughs> last week we just what had um new horizons academy it's a a school in the Las Vegas area um, autistic children mm. and they came to our studio to get a, a tour and to just express themselves on mic and try wow. out voiceover that and they, must have freaked. they were incredible yeah. they were so talented and funny and just I had it was such a just I don't know. It was just a uh, an experience filled with yeah. a lot of joy, yeah. Yeah. and these kids were so cool. And um, they all were reading copy and getting on mic. And man, some of them knew more about voiceover than I did. They were asking <laughs> me all these you know questions about you know yeah. motion capture and all this video. And I don't yeah. do a lot of video yeah. game stuff, right. so I was like, "Tell me about it." Yeah. <laughs> so they were so you got some new experts to come uh, and do for a real. Session. Yeah. So, but they, but that's another thing. We're very community based. And we have, you know, all different types of, mm -hmm. um, you know, groups that want to come and check out voiceover. I'm going to start doing a kids class for kids so and teens. Yeah. And yeah. just I enjoy sharing what I love yeah. and sharing what I know. And some people come to our studio just for a creative outlet. Mm -hmm. They're not yeah. necessarily coming there because right. they want to do voiceover full time. I mean, if they want to, we certainly know what it takes and we can give them the know-how right. and right. the skills and stuff. But um, people that just... I I have like housewives that say I used to be in theater I used to be so creative and I used to do all this stuff and now you know I'm just at home you know raising mm -hmm. my family I need a little break I need some me time so yeah. that's a great thing it's for them they'll come Absolutely. to a workshop have some fun cut loose hang out and, with some cool peeps and it's a yeah. great, it's have a some great, snacks have some snacks <laughs> we popcorn have, we, have, we got all <laughs> kinds of popcorn the snacks we, are essential we, <laughs> snacks are important and we never yeah. skimp on snacks yeah. so you guys come on over and okay. see Oh, we're coming oh, over. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Well, next time we're in snacks. Vegas, man, we're definitely coming You're over. I will talk snacks. for snacks, no doubt. And definitely. it's also a great resource for the the professional community there for agents to know and casting people to oh, know definitely. that you guys it's a, it's a legit oh definitely place that people can get great information well two things that kind of come full circle one thing the the very first guy that ever booked me on a voiceover uh, gig his name's John McLean I have to give him a shout out I, I know love John this McLean. guy he's amazing and uh, he owns uh, the the dog and pony show studios in Las Vegas mm -hmm. and uh, great friend just amazing guy I've learned so much from him over the years he um, was so excited about our new studio and he's like I want to teach some classes I want to I want to like teach some stuff you know his enthusiasm was so just amazing and other producers in Las Vegas that are really good friends of mine you know mm -hmm. I've been voicing for well over a decade and worked with all of them they're all so pumped to come in and share their knowledge on technology mm -hmm. and you know talking to voice talent about what happens on the other side of the glass and yeah. stuff like that it's just really neat to feel the support of all of these producers that I've worked with I still work with that yeah. you know have supported me it come full circle and John was there teaching you know 
a week ago doing this thing. We called it Geek Out on Gear. It was nice. really fun. And he's yeah. like, he goes, I never knew what a geek I was till I did this, you know? And I was like, geeks are awesome, you know? So he did his thing, but I said, John, do you remember when you like hired me for my first voiceover gig back in 2001 or whatever? And we just had a fun moment laughing about it. So it's really neat to see things come yeah. full circle. And then yeah. the second thing is I took my first voiceover class in 2000 through UNLV, got that catalog mm-hmm. in the mail, serendipitous. It was supposed right. to show up. Yep. And I uh, just interviewed with UNLV. They came over to see our studio. Alice is um, going to be taking a break from uh, teaching through UNLV. She's still coaching yeah. and teaching yeah. and working with people privately, and she's got a, a master's class she teaches, but um, she's she's no longer going to be teaching through UNLV. Um, from what I understand, and UNLV said, uh, Melissa, we think you'd be the the best fit, the perfect fit for us. So wow. now it's come full wow, circle. That's that's incredible. Um, coming out in the fall catalog, Melissa Moat's going to be teaching through UNLV. Professor Moat. Professor Moat. <laughs> hey. Love it, <laughs> Her classes will have snacks. My classes. I'm gonna buy a briefcase. I'm gonna get like a little mustache. Oh no. gosh. That's How what I always cool. think. You have to wear cardigans, yeah. cardigans yeah. and suede patch jackets. Yes. That's hysterical, man. That's incredible. I'm pretty excited. So talk about things, you know, in 15 years coming full circle. Yeah. And and it is really neat. They they really thought it was cool um, to have. It's rare that someone that does voiceover full time that is you know living and breathing mm-hmm. it all day is also going to teach it. I'm just crazy. <laughs> I can't get it's enough fantastic. of voiceover. I know, but so, that's you're going to. You're already a great teacher. That's so awesome. People are going to be lucky. If you have the opportunity to freaking even hang out with this girl, (laughs) you do it. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Thank you. So cool. I love it. So. Okay, so you and Troy, your husband Troy, are such a great team. And I'm always curious because, you know, Chuck and I love working together. um, And when it works, I'm always curious, like, why do you think you guys have such a successful partnership professionally and personally? Oh, that's a that's a nice question. Um, well, I mean, we really enjoy being together, mm-hmm. and some couples I don't know could be together 24 hours a day. Um, he lets me be me. He lets me do my thing, and um, and I let him be him and do his thing. You know, it's not neither one of us are trying to you know I think overstep our bounds in that. Mm-hmm. Um, he lets me be creative and just kind of do my thing. He's really supportive of me. And I've always been really fortunate in my life, even growing up. Like I have the kind of family that I'd say, you know, I want to be a cruise director. And my parents were like, you can totally do that, you know? And then, we'll help you, um, back. you know, I'm we'll help you back. of course you are, you know, I mean, yeah. no one ever yeah. told me I couldn't. So it's no surprise that I found a partner like that in mm-hmm. my life. I attracted yeah. a partner that way yes. um, because he's truly, you know, supportive and loving and he's my biggest fan, you know? And um, I don't know. I, what do you think, honey? I don't know. He's just. You said it. <laughs> He's like, you said it. Troy is sobbing so hard he can't. He's cry. crying right now. He's, He's got like, tears running I down his face. I no, I, I just think I mean, we're honest. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. really supportive of each other. We're really open. We have really great mm-hmm. communication. Mm-hmm. So I can tell him anything on my mind, and, and he can tell me anything. And yeah. um, just, you know, open book. And we get I along like great. We love to be together. And um, I just feel really lucky. Well, Love you it. are. You Love both it. are. I'm glad you have uh, each other. It's absolutely. And, and same to you guys. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing when you find know, the right man. person. You know? It's so cool. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's magical when you really have that connection that we have. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so cool, man. Well, you have any other questions? For I Melissa? love it. You're all weepy today. Oh, well, because you know, you 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 Chuck brought has the biggest heart. I he love, got like I always say, yeah, he I got love, like an extra scoop of heart. He has such a big heart. Yeah, and really I love I those today. you know things coming around full yeah. circle and things like that because it's they're true. magical. It's you true. know, they don't it's happen true. by luck. Yeah, yeah. They, they happen because they're supposed to. Yeah, you know. And yeah. I think if you put a lot of good stuff out there and you really believe, you yeah. know, I always thought I'd have a great partner. Mm-hmm. I always thought that I would be able to do something creative uh, in my life, you know, for a living, yeah. and yeah. Um, just believe in it. Yeah. You know, yeah. you attract it. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it when the good guy wins. Yeah. Me too. The good guy wins. I'm doesn't all always it. happen immediately, but it always does. Absolutely. Yeah. It always does. I agree with you. Absolutely. Um. 
Did you get? An, did you have any um, advice along the way that that helped you in your? Life? Yeah, I've gotten. A I've lot. been a lot Come of on, great advice. Come on, give us some advice. Well, can I can I can I like give a shout out to one of my all time yeah. mentors? Have to say that Bo Weaver. Bo Weaver has Bo been Weaver. We love an Bo amazing Weaver. mentor to yes. me and an amazing friend. It's it's interesting because I've learned a lot of things from him, not just about voiceover, just life. Yeah. he's got so he's much. He's an incredible man. He, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I could listen to him tell stories all day, and he's shared so many really great personal, you know, adventures, adventures in voiceover through his eyes, yeah. and I learned a lot from that. Um, but you know, he really helped me a lot with my promo read yeah. and. Um, you know, he was just really instrumental in helping me be me and yeah. doing mm -hmm. me and, you know, just like, do do your thing, do you, you know, yeah. and uh, just, he's been a great mentor, great mm -hmm. friend, and tons of great advice from yeah. him. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. I'm trying to think, just so many people. I learned from everyone. I learned from, I even learned from people that I'm mentoring, people that I'm giving, you know, advice to and stuff. Mm -hmm. They'll do a read or they'll, they'll, share their insight you know about something with me and I go that was incredible so yeah. I feel like you can learn something from everyone that yeah. you encounter um, yeah. those are usually the best teachers people yeah. that are just open-minded to like mm -hmm. I don't know everything yes yeah. and that are open to even learning more and being a sponge to everything mm -hmm. that's definitely good and, I hear choices that yeah. people make that blow my mind, you yeah. know, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm just so like, wow, Absolutely. that is incredible. Well, Bo Weaver said something. Uh, we wouldn't know you if it wasn't for Bo. Bo I introduced us. It was us. really yeah. cool and him to bring us I, together. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I remember, hi, Bo. Hi, He's hi watching. Bo. Uh, and I remember, <laughs> I remember him saying to me uh, uh, when we talked about, because he was trying to, because I, I only work with people that are like, you know, serious. So he's trying to prove to me that you're like not only Legit. amazingly great, but this girl's serious. She's not going to waste your time, Aww. Chuck. She's the pro. She's the pro. Aww. She's the real deal. But she told me, she said, every person on this on this earth uh, would. What did he say? Every person would would hope to meet somebody and know somebody like Melissa in their mm -hmm. lifetime. And I was like, holy Toledo! <laughs> so, and yeah. that, that was what did it. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> this guy, he thinks so highly of you mm. and, and what you are and what you do and, and all that stuff wow. that, yeah. Just, That's really, yeah. that was very generous and very kind of him to say. And um, he's just a great person and a great friend and, and I love him and it was really nice of him to say that. Yeah, it was. So. It was, Bo. You're was, a sweet right? kid. <laughs> Um, Thanks, so, uh, should we put Melissa on the uh, hot uh -huh. seat and ask her an if yeah, question? we should. Okay, Melissa. <sighs> Pick oh, a, this is the only question that you may not know the answer to. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so tell me a number between 5 and 129, please. 11. 11. Okay, she's ready to go. Melissa. Yes. This is for the win. This is for the win. <laughs> This if is you, for the million dollars. Okay. This is for the cruise trip. No. <laughs> okay. If you had to name the one most important ingredient of human beauty, what would you say it is? Love. Mm. Mm hmm. Just pure. Pure love. Pure love. Yeah. Put it out there. The world needs. Yeah. As much as it can mm. possibly oh, get. Oh gosh, do we need it? And uh, yeah. give hugs, love, peace. Yo, no, honestly, love. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. Did Absolutely. I, and that's one of the, right? yeah, and, and that's one of the beautiful, no, <laughs> you did good. Okay, she's the winner. Where's the bell? <laughs> Confetti, Confetti falls. Yeah, there's the, oh, hey, 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 the confetti in my hair. There you go, Wait love. a minute, you yeah. get an apple. Yes. Oh, thank you. Don't eat that at the same time. <laughs> uh, um, so, no, love. And, and, and it's so yeah. beautiful because that, you, you know, you, there's so much of that that you give out yes. to people. It's just loving what you do. You love what you do so much that it helped you overcome something as dramatic as, as, as cancer. Definitely. You know, the love for that, that you have for voiceover. And you couldn't not teach people and give back, so you had to go and find a building so that you can keep giving back. <laughs> yeah. And how much love... Mm. You know, can you? There's yeah. a lot of love there. Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah. both Aww. of you guys. We uh, love you guys. Absolutely, we're so right back at you. Excited and inspired by you. You're always welcome here, and and I just I can't wait to see what continues to go on with Thank you. you. You're incredible. Yes, so big nice. stuff. Can we sing together yeah. before we? What do you want to sing? Up? All you need is love. 
da, da, da. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. We'll see you guys Hi, next time. Hi, I'm Melissa Moats, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Now, I hope you guys learned a lot of stuff today. I learned a lot of stuff myself and reminded myself of a few things. So don't be afraid. Get out there, get on the phone, get those emails happening, and you're going to rock. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with the awesome Melissa Moats. We hope that you guys have enjoyed her story as much as we have. She's incredible. Yes, and we will see you next week with another new show for you. Absolutely. Keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, you guys. We love you so much. And just remember, you, you always, always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.